what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. I am going to be doing something probably pretty regretful. I'm going to be bleaching my hair. The last time I did it, I seriously, seriously damaged it. Like to the point of it being unable to dry with just how awful it was. Like I'd go in the shower and it just feel really plasticky. And when I came out of the shower and tried to dry my hair, like chunks and chunks would just fall out. It was really, really bad. So I am taking precautions this time. I've done um, a mask on my hair, uh, like a, a few days before when I washed it. I've not washed my hair for a couple of days, so my scalp won't get like burnt and stuff. I have prepared tin foil. I kind of want to get it to a decent-ish color uh, that I can go out in public in. Uh, over the weekend. I can't bleach it and leave it orange so I have to tone it so yeah you get the total gist of things. So this is kind of like a vlog of uh, me bleaching my hair and hopefully I won't fuck this up too much and my hair won't fall out. Yeah I will show you guys my process and stuff and we'll see how it goes. Currently walking around for some Vaseline to put around my ears and my head. I thought I had some, but I don't think I do. Ah, oh, shit. This is gonna be bad. I read a lot of uh, tips that said you should definitely put like Vaseline and stuff around like your forehead and like your your like um, ears and stuff so that it doesn't irritate your scalp. But I think I'm just gonna have to. I just have to brave it. So I'm not sure how well this will work. It's um. It's actually, it's actually like tattoo cream. It was my sister's when she, from when she had her tattoo. Uh, I think I might just use this because this also gives that like, kind of like, I don't know, filmy thing, I guess? I am filming on a selfie stick, by the way. Kind of thinking that maybe this will work and uh, if not, well, it's just gonna burn my face off, it's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I realized that I forgot to get at the shops uh, today was gloves. But luckily, uh, I have two left over from the last time that I dyed my hair. So thank the fucking Lord, I'm not gonna burn my fingers off as well as my face. Okay, so quick update. Uh, this is what my hair looks like at the minute. As you can see, it's not really taken at the bottom because I think it's because I coloured it before. It doesn't look... It looks more ginger on the camera than it does in real life. It's more... It's, it is quite blonde on top, but it's like really ginger around here. It's not really ginger, it's just orange. It's just full on orange. I've missed loads of bits, so like I'm gonna have to get my mom to help me uh, Saturday morning. I'm already cheating a lot. I know everybody basically says to leave it at least like a week or two um, until you dye it again. But like obviously I'm gonna have to get rid of this, <laughs> this color um, by the time I go back to work on Tuesday, so. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. It is Friday evening and I am potatoing on the sofa watching me bang theory and it's I'm really really struggling to not just bleach my hair now. This is like one situation where I'm kind of glad that my hair gets greasy really quickly. I'm kind of thinking maybe uh it might be protected enough to go for another round of bleach. And I could leave it tomorrow to heal and then tone it. I'll check back with you guys in a bit and let you know if I've decided to bleach my hair tonight instead. Okay, so I actually caved yesterday and I bleached, uh, I tried to do the bleaching myself 
and um, I got, again, most of it, and it was fine, but there was just some, just like, stupid little patches that I just, I don't know how I missed, and it was really, really fucking annoying, so um, my mum went out, got another little volume of developer, I used like half the powder, half the volume developer, and just got her to help me get the last little bits. Like, I did put bleach on there last time, but for some reason it just didn't work. I either didn't put on enough or whatever. But yeah, this is it's, this is literally just the last little bits. Now, I'm not touching the ends of my hair. I'm not touching any more of the bits that have already been bleached. It's literally just getting the little little bits of like dark brown that is still there. I've got my hair dye as well. Um, I'm probably, to see, I don't know whether to dye it first and then tone it or tone it and then dye it. I might do like a, a thing of toning after this and then uh, not use all of it and then um, dye it that sort of oh do you want to see actually what color I'm going I'm using Garnier Olea I have heard a lot of bad stuff about this product but I've always used it and I quite like it to be honest so this isn't the original color I was gonna go I was gonna go 7.13 which was um, like a dark honey beige blonde or something I think this will be fine it's a lot lighter than I wanted to go I did want to go just ever so slightly darker than this but yeah hoping it'll look pretty nice though and then the thing is is like it's better to start off light and then go darker rather than go too dark and then you know you've got to have that whole problem of like oh shit my hair's too dark sort of thing and then bleaching it will have just been a complete and not a waste of time probably do another update uh either tonight or tomorrow when i'm toning and uh and hopefully we'll manage to get a lot of this uh it doesn't look so bad on the camera, but it's it's very uh actually it's not it's not so much orange anymore. It is actually just ginger. I'm like yellow and light ginger at the minute, so that's that's always fun. But yeah, I'll do another update in a bit. like a fucking alien. I am already at the stage of dyeing my hair the dark blonde light brown color that I wanted to go. So yeah, I can't say that patience has ever been my uh, strongest forte. So um, hopefully my hair won't fall out. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for right now. Okay guys, ready for the big reveal? I really like this color. It is, it is a lot lighter actually. Let me see if I can get in the light. This is, like a shade or two lighter than I originally wanted my hair to go, but you know it's it's better that it's lighter and then I can go darker rather than um, if I started off too dark and then tried to go light again. But I'm actually I'm actually pretty happy with this color to be honest, and it's gone really well. Like it's still, I mean, it doesn't feel you know the healthiest it's ever been, but it doesn't. It's not like breaking off when I pull it in. It's still relatively you know, okay, um, I'm going to be putting masks on it for the next couple of weeks and then if I decide to go like my original colour, which is a bit darker, then I can just do that in a couple of weeks instead and let my hair, you know, kind of heal before I mess about with it again. But actually, this colour, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with it. But yeah, that's my hair and um, I'll do... Um, a bit where it's like styled and stuff so you guys can see what it looks like when I've got you know my face and makeup on and like my hair properly styled and stuff so yeah I'm quite happy with that <laughs>